guys, it's Bree from Breezy Special Ed and today I want to show you how you can use my daily questions in Google Slides. So um, now including with the included with the daily question download is this Google Slide link. When you open your document you'll have an option to open this one called Google Slides Daily Questions. Kind of explains to you what to do here and then you're going to click on these links to make you can share with your students and allow to edit. And in this document, it explains how you can make copies for each student and how you can easily do that on Google Classroom. You don't need Google Classroom to do this. Okay, so that file will help you get it set up. Once you have it set up, it will look like this for your students. They can drag over the box for each day and type in their answer. They can add a because question if they want or they can answer with a because statement. And um, this is where you can give them directions. You can update the directions every day, um, do page two, three, etc. Or you can kind of give a table schedule of what you want them to do, April 25, April 26, so you don't have to update it every day, maybe only every week. If you want to individualize your instructions, you can do that right here as well. So that's the one with the three options. Also included with that download is the yes or no questions. With yes or no, they're going to take the circle from the yes or the no side and they're going to drag it over the do or the do not. The size of the circle will help them realize which side it goes on. And then again, they can type their sentence in here. Same with the yes no slide. It has this. You could actually have them answer both types of questions every day um, if you just kind of want to throw that in there. Another option you have for the daily questions is to delete this circle and add pictures of your students off to the side. So here's my example pictures of students. You would um, insert image, okay, to add your students' images. And then they could go in and they could drag their image. So that would be one student. So you would share the exact same document to every student if you want to do it this way, whereas the other way you would share the copies. So every student can go in, they can drag their answer, you can go over and look at it as a class, which would be kind of a neat way to do that as well. Um, these daily questions have been in my TPT as printable PDFs. The Google Slides version has been added for free. I did not increase the price. Um, I did not make this a new resource so that if you need this resource during your distance learning and you are using the daily questions in your classroom already, you can go ahead and download this, for, download this for free. And I'm sure your students will love seeing something familiar. This is the only set of daily questions that I currently have digital. If you guys need more, let me know. You can contact me on social media at Breezy Special Ed. Um, and and I love knowing what you need because I love creating what you need and helping you during these times. So I hope that showed you how you can use daily questions in your class. If you have any questions, again, contact me. I'd love to help you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.